Today's rain and spotty showers didn't dampen a celebration for Albert Lee's new inclusive playground and miracle walk. While the city wasn't able to hold a groundbreaking event this morning at Edgewater Park, KIMT News 3's Eppenberg shows us how the community is still supporting the start of the construction project. Although the weather didn't allow for a more traditional groundbreaking, the city of Albert Lee was still celebrating in spirit today as construction is soon to begin on its new all-inclusive playground. Yeah, unfortunately with the weather we're not able to be outside, uh, but it's still, still a great day and uh, we're, we're le proud to be here. Davy Villarreal has been advocating for the new inclusive playground. It's an issue that hits close to home for him as a parent of autistic and sensory-seeking kids. Kids of all abilities are able to be out here and play and have a good time. Our families are going to love being out here. I know a lot of families from around the community are going to come here and out of town will definitely come and visit. The city's new playground will cost around $1.2 million and feature wheelchair accessible merry-go-rounds, seesaws and activities for kids with sensory needs. It's great to see this come to fruition uh, where we actually get to start building. This park is going to be wonderful. This morning, the Albert Lee Chamber of Commerce presented All-Inclusive Albert Lee with a $5,000 check to help the project get over the $1 million mark. This is going to be a great thing for our community and kudos to them for all that they did and all their hard work. The event was attended by the All-Inclusive Park Committee's partners at Larson and other supporters. Even though the rain kept them from turning over some dirt, they found a way to celebrate the achievement. Construction is expected to begin on the new playground sometime later this week, as long as the weather allows. In Albert Lee, Evan Berg, KIMT News 3. All-inclusive Albert Lee is still working to raise an additional $200,000 to fund all the playground's new features. Construction should be finished by the end of the year.